Hi, everybody. It's Kathy, and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's gl I'm glad to have you guys back. Um, it's been a few days since I recorded a video, and I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. A lot of new stuff in the Dollar Tree, and um, I just want to show you guys what's out there. So let's start with this cute little box that I found. Um, they got a lot of Mother's Day stuff out, and I thought this box was so pretty. It's got a purple top with an attached ribbon, and then, you know, looks like that inside. And I just thought it was so pretty. So I grabbed that for some kind of gift sometime, but I thought it was so pretty. And it's got a yellow bottom. And this is by Voila. But all the Mother's Day stuff is coming out, guys. And Mother's Day is May 10th. So if you um, are looking for a gift for um, a mother in your life, the Dollar Tree is the place to go. <clears throat> Next thing I picked up was this frozen uh, tissue box. It is 74 two-ply tissues. And I got it because it's frozen too. And uh, I like to keep cute boxes like this here for Caroline when she's here. Uh, next thing I picked up was some, I was able to score some hand sanitizer. Um, my store got this kind of hand sanitizer, the little travel kind. I was able to grab three of them. We actually were allowed to get four. I only picked up three. Um, they are scented. Um, the blue one is coconut and lime. The pink one is pomegranate and vanilla. And the green one is cucumber melon. I've gotten this one in the past before and I really like the smell of it. So I was really um, interested in getting these. And these are great to keep in your car. You know, if you have to go out to the grocery store or whatever, um, it's always good to antibacterial your hands. And uh, these are great to keep in your purse or on your purse. You can undo this little Humi jobber. Let me put these two down. This little Humi jobber, it undoes. And then you just stick it on the end of your purse. Put the little thing back in. I mean, I don't know how well it would stay, um, like if it would fall off or anything, but I keep these in my car. So these were available at my store. We have not had any of the sanitizer bottles or the wipes or the antiseptic in the last couple weeks. Um, but I grabbed those because we had them and I happened to be working that day. So, grabbed them. Uh, next thing I picked up was these two new bowls. Now, they look like they're metal. And I, I guess they are. They sound it. But they're not heavy. They're a very light bowl. And I just thought they were super cute. They'll be great for like mixing stuff when you're baking and whatnot. And they had, um, I think, two different sizes, but I got just the two that were the same. And uh, what does it say? It just says bowl on the bottom. But it does sound like metal. But I don't know. The inside does not feel like metal. It feels like it has some kind of coating on it. But I grabbed these. They're new at the Dollar Tree. If you're interested... There they are. Um, I picked up some Fisher Price baby wipes to have on hand when Evelyn comes over. So, um, you know, if she needs to be changed or whatever, Fisher Price brand name baby wipes. Um, they have aloe vera and chamomile. And uh, it says gentle enough for hands, face, and body. So you can use it. Um, besides for diaper changes, um, these would be great to keep in the car. There are 80 wipes in it and it's Fisher Price. So that's a brand name. I grabbed that. Um, some of this stuff was from my last haul that I didn't get to show you when Caroline was here. So, um, I picked up this hydrating mask, coconut and rose hip, rose hip. Anyway, it's a hair mask, and uh, I'm interested in trying it. I love the smell of coconut. It's by Bolero. It has fruit enzymes, boosts radiance, and improves control. It's a 6.5 ounce container. So I picked that up. Um, I found some more of the uh, gem, gem mesh. I found four more rolls. 
and I picked up one of each color and I'm gonna put these in my giveaway. I know I said I was doing a giveaway when I reached a thousand subscribers, but um, I blinked my eye and all of a sudden I have, <clears throat> excuse me, almost 3000 subscribers now. Um, I'm really happy that all of these people have joined my family, but um, I wanted to get my giveaway together so I can do my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and then I'll probably do a couple of giveaways after that for 2,000 and 3,000, but I'm so sorry that I didn't get the 1,000 out early, but these are gonna be in the giveaway. If you've been watching my channel, you've seen a few of the other items that um, I have in the giveaway, and uh, I will let you all know how to enter the giveaway um, when I do the giveaway video. Next thing I picked up, which I thought was really cool, it's the um, 20 incense sticks. Jasmine scented. I've never really burned incense sticks, but I thought this was a really great gift. It comes with an incense holder. If you can see, there's a little block with a little uh, flower on it, and you put your little incense stick in there. And uh, I thought that would be a great gift for someone. So I grabbed two of them. I grabbed one at one time and then I saw that we still had them so I grabbed another one thinking I could keep one for myself and uh, give one away as a gift. So great deal, you get 20 incense sticks plus the incense holder and it's in a really cute little package. So that was new in my store. Um, I found some new markers. These are by Jot, and these are line markers. You get six of them, and um, as you can see, they draw lines. Let's open one up and see what, what it looks like, just to see what the point of the marker looks like. <clears throat> I got these for Caroline because she loves her coloring. Where the heck is the top? Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, hold on. Where am I? There we are. You can just see that the end of the marker has, uh, you can't see it too good. Damn, right there maybe. And it makes lines. Do I have anything to write on? Of course I don't. Of course I don't. You know what? I can write on the bottom of this box. Let's see what happens. Nope, that's plastic. Anyway, they spo they're supposed to make lines. Sorry, I wasn't prepared to draw with these markers. Um, they are supposed to make lines like this that you can draw in the different colors. And by Jot, I found these in the stationery section, if you're looking for them, <clears throat> where all the pens and pencils are. And then I also found this one that makes flowers. And they're basically the same colors. And then this one is stamps. So we're going to give these a shot and see what we think of them. I'm sure Carolina will love them. She loves her markers. So I grabbed those for her. They were new in my store if you haven't seen them. Um, I picked up this little succulent. I thought it was so pretty. I love the colors in it, the yellow and the red and the green. And it's just a little potted succulent. And uh, I just wanted to get that to put, you know, as a little piece of decor somewhere in my home. So I grabbed that, really pretty. I had a whole bunch of them. They have a lot of succulent picks. Um, well, not picks, I guess. They're on like an alligator clip. So if you're making wreaths or whatever, um, they have them out now. So if you're looking for them. But I just picked up that little potted one. Um, I picked up two packages of these heavy duty clamps. They have these in the Dollar Tree all the time. But I grabbed them um, just to do some crafting with. I've been thinking about doing some things where I have to glue stuff together. And um, I thought that these would, you know, work really well to keep them together. Let's take a look at these. Ugh, hang on. All right, so they're coated with like a little plastic on the, on the ends to hold it. And yow, that is, that's a tight clamp. Hurt my finger when I did it. Um, so you get two in a pack. They are by 
tool bench hardware. And that's the information on those. So I'm gonna put that with my crafting stuff. I found another uh, cookbook, Mexican cookbook, uh, tempting recipe favorites. I love some Mexican food. Um, there's some nice pictures in here. I love Huevos Rancheros. They are just my favorite. Um, to any of my Spanish speaking friends, if I mispronounce that, please excuse my mispronunciation. And then there's a little um, thing in the back that shows you about measuring sizes. One gallon equals four quarts, eight pints, 16 cups, 128 ounces, 3.8 liters. And uh, there was some really lovely, yummy looking recipes in that. So I grabbed that. Um, let's see what else I got. Hmm. I picked up two more face masks from Freeman. This is the anti-stress with sea salt. This is a mud mask. I, you know, I haven't tried them, but just the looks of them, I can't even get with the paper masks. They just, I don't know, I don't like them. So I get the mud masks. This is a 1.5 ounce and it's anti-stress. And this one is detoxifying charcoal mud mask. So I grab these two. Like I said, I don't care for those paper masks. I don't even like the looks of them. They, they look like they would be slimy and yeah, no. But some more things. I found this bath soak. It's moisturizing avocado oil. And this is by Spa Naturals, the luxury collection. It says pour one to two cups in warm bath water and indulge in a refreshing soak. I don't really take baths, but I've been thinking a lot about it just to kind of relax and, and just, you know, let my cares go. It says it nourishes skin and leaves it feeling smooth, soft, and supple. Wonderful, refreshing scent. So I grabbed that, and I'm going to give that a try in my bathtub. I said to Caroline the other day, I had her here, and she was in the bathtub, and I said, can Grandma get in the bathtub with you? And she's like, no, you can't get in the bathtub. And I was like, how come Grandma can't take a bath? She said, only Caroline takes a bath. She's so stinking cute. I can't stand her. Um, new, another um, thing I found was the bu Global Beauty Care Exfoliating Foot Treatment. I believe this Global Beauty Care stuff is sold in Walmart. And I grabbed this. They also had the Pore Refining Mask. Uh, this is a paper mask, I'm assuming... Although, no, it feels kind of, I don't know. I don't want to open it because if it is, I'm going to give it away. And if it's not, then I'll use it. So I don't want to open it right now. Um, can I see what it says? To use, cleanse face, and remove any makeup. Open, remove pre-moistened mask. Okay, so maybe I'll stick this in the giveaway because I know I'm not going to use it. And I also got the cucumber mask. I don't know what I was thinking when I got these. If you guys like paper masks, try and win my giveaway because these two are going to be in it. And they're new, and I just wanted to show you guys what's new out there. The cucumber one is a hydrogel face mask with vitamins A, C, and E. And this one has aloe vera and tea tree. So these are also going to be in my giveaway. But that with the giveaway stuff. And then I found another foot treatment mask. There's this green one and the red one. This one is a hydrating one. And this one is an exfoliating one. So those I'll use. Global Beauty Care, those are in the uh, health and beauty aisle. Uh, do I have anything else from there? No. Um, I did pick up some couple of packs of glue sticks. Dollar Tree always carries these glue sticks. They are 16 pieces. 
Um, and they are by Crafter Square. And I picked up two bags of them so I can start doing some hot gluing, crafting. Um, I found some duct tape. This really pretty duct tape for some packaging when I send my uh, giveaway out. I'm going to use this duct tape on it to make it look all cute and fancy. There is five yards of tape in here. It's not a ton, but for a dollar, you know, it's worth it. Um, let's see what else I got here. Oh, in the stationery department again, I find, found these file folder labels. You get 120 labels. That's a lot of labels for a buck. I don't need that many. I bought these because I bought a plastic greeting card holder from Michael's. I ordered it online and it got delivered the other day because I have been buying a lot of greeting cards from Dollar Tree and, um... I had them in a drawer and I was always having to rifle through them all to figure out, you know, what kind of greeting card I had and what I needed. And so I got the greeting card thing from Michael's um, and I want to use that so I can, it has dividers in it. I should have brought it to the table here and showed you guys, um, but it has little dividers in it. And I wanted to use these little file folder labels um, to let me know which what's in each little section because right now I know I can go to it and you know know what section is what but a month from now I'm not going to know what's in what section because the memory just don't work like it used to also in the stationary sec, sec in the stationary section I found a couple of steno notebooks this one is really pretty. Be your own beautiful. It's got little gold flecks on there. It's pink background. And then it's just a steno notebook. For those of you that don't know what a steno notebook is, back in the day when they used to use stenographers, which I took, I took in high school, they used to use these notepads to take notes. So that's why they're stenographer notebooks. It just says notebook on the back. It's 80 sheets and it's by Jot. Little history lesson there for all you youngins. Um, the other one I found was this one with the unicorns on it. It's got the metallic top up here and then a couple of the unicorns are metallic. And then again, it's the stenographer's notebook. So I grabbed those from the stationery section. Gosh, I got so much stuff piled up here. Okay, in the toy department, these were new to my store. I haven't seen anyone else haul them. Maybe they have. I haven't seen them, but I was super excited. I found these Lucky Fortune little blind bags. They are shaped like a fortune cookie. And apparently inside is a little fortune with some lucky numbers on it, according to the box. And then there is a little bracelet inside. It says there are a hundred different ones. Oh my God, a hundred bracelets to collect. I picked up four of them so that I could open one and um, I could give the other three to the girls, Madeline, Sarah, and Caroline, because Evelyn can't open them yet. So, all right, I'm opening this up. You get this little paper with all these doodads you can collect, a lot of them. And then it's got some kind of little wear your luck. I don't know, you can probably do something with this paper. I don't know. And then you get your little fortune cookie thing. Okay, and it's got plastic around it that I'm probably not going to be able to open. Yes, I am. Okay. So we're opening that. And you could probably, I don't know, once I open this, you know, just hang your little fortune cookie. Um, hmm, I wonder how you open this. Is there any directions on how to open it? 
I don't want to break it. That's the whole thing. No, there is not. So there's this little thing on the back. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's how you break it. Okay. You press that. And the fortune cookie opens up. Okay. And you get your little necklace or bracelet or bracelet. And this one is the diamond, little diamond, if you guys can see that up close. And it's purple. And apparently you can <clears throat> pull the string and make this smaller or bigger to fit whatever size wrist the child has. Or if you want to wear it as an adult, feel free. And then, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There was a little fortune inside. And this says... Do, do, do. I always love fortune cookies. I love the cookie themselves. I don't know about you. Some people just open them and take the fortune out, but I like the cookies too. This one says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that. And there's my lucky numbers. Maybe I'll play those in the New York lottery. And then on the back, it says something in another language, which I can't read. I don't know, but that's what you get. You get a little fortune with your lucky numbers and you get a little bracelet. I wonder if that would fit me. I probably can't get it on my fat hand. Hang on, let's see if I can get it on. No, I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna probably break it. But I don't know if you guys are able to see that up close. Am I showing it? Is it focusing? I don't know. But there are hundreds of different little bracelets you can collect and they were new to my store so i was like what what are these i gotta grab some of these and show my subscribers so if you have a little girl in your life probably they're probably good for boys too i mean maybe they don't want the diamond but let me see what else is on here you know there's all different th oh there's a flamingo there's all different things on here that a boy could want. There's a cell phone and a camera and an airplane. So boys could wear them too. No saying it's just for girls. But here they are. Lucky fortune blind bags. And then you can still keep the little container. And you could, you know, hang this from your um, rear view or hang it up somewhere. I just think it's really cute. So... That is my newest find, Lucky Fortunes, Wear Your Luck. I was like, what are these? I haven't seen these before. I was so psyched. I'm like, give me those. I got to show my subscribers. So I will put that aside for now. Don't know what I'm going to do with that bracelet. Probably give it to the girls. And then I found these. There were only, I think, maybe eight of them in the package. And uh, I picked up one of each kind. They are called Zoo Balloons. Now, there's this one. There is this one. These are on like little stands. So apparently you can keep them afterwards. And then there is this pink one. So there's a pink one, a purple one, and a green one. I believe this is supposed to be a star. This is a heart. And this is just a ball. And what it says on it is everlasting balloon animals. I'm not going to open this, guys, because these are for the girls. And <clears throat> I only have three because I got one for Madeline, one for Caroline, and one for Sarah. Um, but I'm assuming inside is one of these little, like, balloon animals. When I do, when the girls open them up, um, I will show you what's inside them. But I thought they were really cool. And my store had one box. And like I said, um, there might have been a dozen of them in the, in the box. And I was like, oh, let me get these. I got to show my subscribers what is out there. I have not seen anybody else haul these before. So I really have no clue what's inside them. But 
they look really cool. So they'll be fun for the kids. Got those. In my store, they were on the register because I have my store has a lot of um, theft. So we did not put those in the toy aisle thinking that people would steal them. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we have had a lot of theft lately in our store. But anyway, so what other thing did I pick up? Oh, I picked up this sloth coloring book for Caroline. I keep saying this for Caroline, for Caroline, but I think this stuff is more for me. I just thought it was so stinking cute. It's got all these little sloths you can color. And it's got games and stuff. Fun with sloths. This is Crown Jewels Kids Color and Activity Mat. So I got that for her. There was a bunch of different ones, but I thought this one was really cute. So I grabbed that for her and me. Um, I also, in the stationery aisle, picked up two of the mailing envelopes. You guys have seen these in um, the Dollar Tree before. This is the bigger one. Does it say the size on it? Moisture resistant. Um, no, it does not say the size on it. Not that I see. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Dimensions. 12.25 inches by 18 inches. So these are the big ones. And I hope to do a couple of other giveaways in this. My 1,000 subscriber giveaway is... Hold on. In this box, which is really heavy, I, there's some stuff in here that must be heavy. But anyway, my 1,000 subscriber stuff is in this box, which I will show you in probably my next video. I got to get this stuff out. Let me put these two masks in there that I said was going to go in there. Um, I'm also going to give away one of these things that I found. Um, I was really excited. I have not seen these in my store. Um, Chris from Widowed Mom Raising Two Sons showed these knives on her channel. They are by uh, Cooking Concepts, right? Cooking Concepts. And from what I understand, they are really sharp. And they must be because they have a little zip tie on here so you can't take the um, guard off. This is the first time I've seen them in my store. I picked up the green one. The blue one, the purple one, and the red one. And I picked up one extra blue one because that was all we had. And that is also going in my giveaway. So if you were looking for these cooking concepts, knives, um, this will be in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Putting it in the box right now. So I was really excited to find them. I can't wait to try them. Um, Chris had said, you know, how really good they are. And she got them a couple of times on her channel. And I was like, my stores have never, never had these. So I grabbed one of each color. So <clears throat> they, they were actually um, mixed up in all the smaller, you know, the um, tongs and the little rubberized um, different color kitchen things they have these were mixed up in them and I was like oh my god those are there's those knives so I grabbed one of each and one for you guys for my giveaway also in the kitchen section I picked up this tablecloth um, I have a table on my <clears throat> excuse me breezeway um, that I set up for fall it's a black and white buffalo check and it's got a squirrel and a bicycle and stuff on it and I said well it's time to change that into something springy. So I picked up this um, tablecloth and this has a flannel backing on it. So it's not just vinyl um, tablecloth. Comes in all these sizes. I don't know that Dollar Tree carries them all. This is the oblong one. So I grabbed that. <clears throat> and it's 52 by 70 inches. Um, another thing I found in the um, kitchen section were these new placemats. You guys know my, cha my channel. My channel's red. My kitchen is red. So I got these placemats. I want to show you them up close. 
They are so pretty. Uh, they are 16.53 inches by 10.63 inches, and they are 70% PVC and 30% polyester. I thought they would be great because you can just take a washcloth and wipe them off. And uh, so I picked up four of them. Um, I think they might have came in black as well, but I saw the red and I was like, what? Got to get those. So I grabbed those. Um, also new to my store, which I just saw last night, was this cutting board. Love the marble look to this. Um, showing you up close. Um, it's got like a, like a grid to it. Um, it is by Cooking Concepts and does not say how big it is, but here is this and here is the mat. So it's a good size. I don't have my ruler here. I mean, I do, but it's buried over there somewhere. And I just thought this marbleized look was so cool. And it's plastic, of course. And I grabbed it because I need a cutting board. And I love the design. And it's new. So I'm showing you guys the new stuff. Uh, also new to my store was this decor piece. Wash, brush, flush. Thought it was really pretty. It's one of those box signs. I'm not really a huge fan of these box signs. I really like the canvas ones myself. Those are my favorite signs. But I thought this was nice just to switch up in my bathroom. Um, I forgot what the sign on my door says now. Powder room, I think. But I just thought that was really pretty. So I grabbed that. <clears throat> um, something else I found in the hardware section. Um, somebody came through my line with these and I, as soon as my red, my line slowed down, I ran to the hardware section and grabbed them. <clears throat> they are the self-adhesive wall tiles. I never thought in a million years that my store would get these. They are the subway tile look. They came in white, they came in gray, and they also come in a wood look. I picked up a whole bunch of these. Actually, I think I got nine of them. I just like reached in and grabbed a bunch and I was like, yeah, that sounds good. And then I counted them and I was like, nine. Yeah, nine is good. I am gonna put these on my breezeway as well because I have like a shelf all around the breezeway and underneath is just white. So I thought this white subway tile would look really pretty out there. I originally have, was thinking behind my, um, or underneath my cabinets in the kitchen but I already have something similar to this up there that's wood. Now these are, <clears throat> it says great for kitchens and bathrooms, easy to use, just peel and stick. They are 12 inches. <clears throat> Let me see if I can open one up for you here. <clears throat> okay, so here's what they look like. They're a little puffy, as you can see. And you just, right here, peel off this plastic back and stick it on the wall. How simple could that be? Even I can do that. And it gives you instructions on the back if you need them. But I, I really, really was excited about these. I love that subway tile look and I can't wait to put them up in my breezeway. So I grabbed those and they were in the, um, <clears throat> not in the kitchen section, but they I found in my store, they were in the um, tool section, the hardware section. So that's where I found those. I also found these GE soft white three-way bulbs. They're guaranteed for one, one year and uh, they are the 50, 100, and 150. You get two bulbs, GE brand name, light bulbs at the Dollar Tree. Now these would be like five bucks at, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot or Walmart or wherever. And I got them for a dollar. So can't beat that. And then I also found the um, halogen floodlights that everybody's been hauling. 
I really, again, didn't think my store was going to um, get these. Um, I picked up two of them because I have um, floodlights out in the front of my house. And you never know when you're going to need a battery. These, again, are about five, six bucks a piece. They are 70 watt, or it uses 70 watt, um, replaces 70 to 90 watt, and two plus year life. So when one of my lights goes out, I just replaced one last summer. Um, hopefully I won't have to replace them again soon, but I have these GE brand name floodlights, $4. Can you believe it? And my store had quite a few of them. They actually still have some, well, <clears throat> the last time I worked, they still had some, which was two days ago. Um, and let's see, where are we? 35 minutes. Okay, I'm only going to show you one more group of things. I got these uh, Jiffy foil pans. These are really nice. Dollar Tree always carries um, foil pans. But these are Jiffy brand, and they're a lot sturdier than the ones that Dollar Tree sells. Now, this is a single pie pan, okay, and it comes with a lid. I picked up two of the pie pans. Is that what they're calling them? Yes, pie pans. Found it, those in that, that brand in that size. And then I got two of the square cake pans. These are really, really nice. One of my other co-workers got them, and I was like, wow, that's really nice. She said, yeah, when they get them, they must get them every once in a while. She said, every time they get them, I grab some because um, she stocks while I work the register. So anyway, I got that, and then I picked up three of the cake pan, the 9 by 11 cake pans. These don't have the tag in them. Let's say Jiffy, but they are sturdy. They're really, really sturdy pans. So if you need, if you want to bake a cake or a pie or whatever, make some kind of dish, um, and you don't want to have to wash dishes, those are great. So, uh, you know, when you're out getting your essentials at the Dollar Tree, just look around and find some of these great things that I got in my trip to the Dollar Tree. Well, trip. My work my work trip to the Dollar Tree wasn't as much fun as, you know, going down up and up and down every aisle with my cart and checking out everything, but I get to find some new things while I'm working and um, you know, when the stuff goes by in my register, I go, "Ooh, I didn't know we had that." So, <clears throat> because, you know, I'm there to work, so I'm not really checking out the store all that much but I get a break and um at the end of the night or I might go in a few minutes early just to if I see something the night before and I'm working the next day I'll go in a little bit early um for my shift to grab the thing or things that I saw that were new so anyway guys I hope you saw something that you were interested in at the Dollar Tree I have a bunch more new stuff um I got a humongous bunch of uh, flamingo things. Uh, my friends and I have a big flamingo party in the summertime, and hopefully we'll get to do that this year um, with everything that's going on. But I'm I'm ready for it, and uh, I am going to do that. Um, show you all my flamingo stuff in another video, and uh, I have a bunch of other stuff coming up. So stay tuned. Um, I will try to make my next video my giveaway video. Can't guarantee it, but that's the plan. Thanks, guys, for taking the time out to watch this video. Hope you're all doing well. Stay well. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.